Hey everyone, in this video, I'll give you a short walkthrough on setting up your dev environment with Expo Starter Kit, getting up and running on your iOS simulator, and also using a React Native module with your Expo app. So let's get started. The first step is gonna be to clone this repository. As you can see, I've also I've cloned it already, so let's get forward. The next step is going to be to install all your dependencies required for this project. So to do this, just run the command yarn install. You can also use npm for that. So as you can see, the all the dependencies have already been installed, so let's just move forward. The first step would be to run the command npm run init. What this command is going to do is going to prompt me for the name of my project and also the slug name required for it. Now let's name our project as my mixed project and also provide the slug name. Okay, cool. Now moving on to the next step. Let's start with installing a bundler dependency through Gen. This app requires bundler as a dependency to run this project. So let's just install one. The command would be sudo gem install bundler. And yes, we are good. Now the next command is going to install all the iOS libraries and the dependencies required to run your app in your injected as well as in the unjected version. Now to do this, run the command npm run install iOS libs. Now it's going to start with its procedure of installing everything iOS needs. Okay, so we're done with installing everything that iOS needs. Now in the next step, let's try starting our app in first an ejected version. Now to start your app in an ejected version, follow these steps. In the first step, run the command npm run iOS native. Now what this command is going to do is it's, it's going to start your app in an ejected app. Okay, now this is running. Meanwhile, open a new terminal and start with manually building and compiling your app. Now to do this, go to your project folder and run the command react native run iOS. Now this command is responsible for manually building your app Now this is a big process, so it might take some time.
So our build is succeeded and now you can see a small app icon with the name of our app on your simulator screen. So now it will start detecting this and it will compile your JavaScript now. And the JavaScript is compiled. And now you can see on your app, on your screen, your app, your app has started in an ejected form. And that's great. Congratulations. Now, in this next step, let's try starting our app in an unejected version. That is a plain Expo old school way. So I'll just stop this. And let's stop the simulator as well. Now for starting your app in an unrejected version, let's run the command npm run ios expo. And now it's going to start your app through expo. It's, it's going to open your dev tools. Now your tunnel is ready and your expo app has been initiated. Now, rather than Apple, you should see a header of export dummy device on your simulator screen, which shows that your app has started as an unrejected app. So it's going to build your JavaScript bundle again. And our JavaScript is burned. So now if you see, you can see an export dummy device on your simulator screen. And great, we have started our app on our simulator with an ejected as well as an ejected form. So that was it for this part. In the next part, I'll be showing how to use a React Native module in your Expo app. Thank you for watching.